Hey doing guys, so it's uh, just a, a quick video today, so I'll do it, open up a few packs a day, but it's kind of like an educational um, video to, so that you don't get uh, uh, ripped off when you come to buy these products. It's basically, if you've ever like seen these ones before, these are like the, uh, the cardboard covered uh, booster ones, so you get like one of each artwork, the same artwork that's in them. But um, when it comes to doing it, like before you get them, just look at the back and just check to see that if these are like like that when it's like ripped off so it looks like it's like been like cut just make sure obviously like you might just see the click there make sure one side's always uh always seal the reason for that is because what you can do is if someone wanted to like reseal them they can open them up really carefully and then you can like pop it off and then get the pack out like that, and then you could just put another pack in and then reseal it to make it look like it hasn't been opened, and then return it to the shop. And then a lot of people do do that. So another thing you gotta look at is is like, like has it been like resealed anywhere else? Like just having a look inside, make sure that there's only the two big dots of glue, like where it is, and that's the way that the, um, the manufacturers will uh, seal them like that. So if you open it open, there's like loads of glue across here or anywhere down there. You probably look like it has been re uh, resealed, and it doesn't have to be the same artwork on the front. Like whatever pack you get inside, it's just random. The artwork on the outside doesn't have to always match the uh, artwork that's in the uh, in the center. And we're going to open these uh, four packs up and uh, see if we do get anything. So there's four packs, one of each of the artwork on the outside. So ooh, not bad. So. The other thing is obviously if you do get like a white code like this, generally it means it's a hollow or better. So again, if you do end up getting like nothing on these uh, on these packs, and you might have been, again it might have been resealable, just make sure you look at the the backs of them before you buy these in the shop to make sure they are still fully sealed and there's no there's nothing look that's suspicious on them. But, uh, so I did go like look for a lot of them. Make sure I got the ones I wanted. So first, never know. <laughs> another Dragapult V. So I'm gonna see another. It's basically because I've pulled this card about four times now. So <laughs> Dragapult V. It's it's value keeps changing as well. So every time I uh, put it up, I keep having to uh, having to like check the value because it's always like reselling. So again, look at the bottom one side. So these both sides are actually off, but the glue is still where it's supposed to be, so it's probably all right. So again, just make sure you're always checking it, because uh, a lot of people do just like open these and don't get what they want, and it's a lot easier to re to re um see these because you wouldn't have to really do do much effort into the pack, because uh, if it is the place that just accepts them, they'll, they'll look at it and be like, all right, that's not been opened, and, and then they'll barely even look at it, and then they'll just take them for the refund. And the guy whoever has opened them might have uh, took took it out, replaced it with a different card, or or they might have uh, seen that it wasn't a white card. It was just, looks like I picked up the good cards, <laughs> and then he's like resealed it and then took it back in. The guy's money back. So obviously this is not the case though, because these ones have all not been tampered with. But just make sure you are being careful when buying these ones. I found that they are probably the easiest uh, product to get scammed on or ripped off on. So Rolly Golly, ooh, Apple in, we've got a reverse bronze arg and ooh, a hollow flapple. Another card I've already got. It's not too bad though, we've had two white cards. Okay, we'll have a little look. So sometimes you will see that it has been like already um Ooh, it's sticky that one. So if you look at this one. This one does look a little bit more suspicious than the rest. Uh, the glue is the same, but the pack's been squashed in uh, quite badly. So, and if you look down here, so I don't know. It looks like it might. This one might have been resealed and then returned to the shop because it. But we'll have a look. I'm hoping it hasn't. Look green code this time. So let's have a look at this uh, pack first. No, it's got a green code so you shouldn't really expect to have anything, but we'll see if the order is right. So it's, oh wait, so I haven't done it, so we'll go one, two, three, four. So let's see if the order is right for starters. Okay, so it is right, maybe it's 
maybe it has been tampered with, but it was a green code. So you don't really expect to get anything with a green code. And the order is still correct. Regular rare. Alright, so maybe that one had been, maybe it hadn't been, but we'll see. But, but obviously you compare the rest of them. That's probably a good example because obviously these packs are like quite like smooth and stuff that haven't been like like we put in so that one probably might like, might have been so it's kind of interesting to look out for when you're coming to uh, open these right so green code again so still again not really expecting anything fantastic but you never know Reverse burn scarf and a trevenant non hollow. Right, so I think I do need a few of them reverses, but anyways, that's going for today. So it's just like a quick like video to, just to show you that. So when you come and doing these, just make sure you are checking the backs of these, uh, making sure they haven't been like uh, up because it, it is really like, easy to do that. Because even when you, you come to do it, then you can like bend them. There's no like like damage on the front because you can bend them and then kind of gives away a bit so you can just open them up and then put them back in and then see them taken back to the shop which a lot of people do so you've got to be careful when you buy these but of course I'm going to uh, rip these up so that you don't see you know that I'm not going to be uh, doing that but anyways that's it for today so remember like and subscribe and head over to the competition page that we're doing uh, if you want to uh, win a trainer's toolkit we are um, having a competition on for the next few weeks I'll have that uh, video at some point uh, in, in this video is head over there have a look at that opening if you want to uh, try and win one of them go into the draw and uh, share it with all your friends let them know about it as well anyways that's it for today and i'll see you in the next video which will be coming up in a couple of days time at the regular at the normal time of uh, six o'clock but